So this is going to be a short video, um, and it's really a cooking video, even though the premise is that my son and I went out to pick chanterelles, which I have in a video uh, that's on my channel. So check that out if you have never gathered them before or forged for them. But anyway, this is uh, centered on cooking chanterelles. I found some recently, and the thing about it was I wasn't sure what to do with them. Um, I've done some very basic stuff with them that you would do with any other mushroom, but I wanted to do something that made them stand out, especially if I went through all the effort to forge this beautiful mushroom, and, and they're unique and hard to find, and their flavor is very unique. So I wanted to showcase that. So what I'm doing right now, I'm posting this quick video, not going to take too long, of um, a fricassee. Fricassee is uh, just basically... Um, like it starts out as a saute with onion and garlic as you can see right there and some sort of mushrooms we got some butter in there we actually use um, we have half a pound of chanterelles which I was fortunate enough to find we got um, a tablespoon and a half of butter and um, half a yellow onion diced and three large cloves of garlic. That's what's in there so far. We're going to have uh, some oregano, some nutmeg, some cream, some chardonnay, and a little bit of lemon juice. And we're going to reduce it down and thicken it. And it's, it's going to be basically a sauce that uh, we're going to use to pour over that roasted cauliflower. That's cauliflower roasted with onion salt, um, some extra salt thrown in there, and some garlic. You don't have to use a lot of salt if you don't want, but I just like to salt that to taste. I roasted that. Um, the actual traditional dish, the recipe that I found, calls for using uh, potatoes or pasta. So we're boiling some water um, so that some of us can have uh, some of us can have it over penne pasta. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, where we are going. All right. So so far we got about four tablespoons of butter in there quarter cup of dry white wine. We're going to put uh, about a third a cup of cream in there and reduce it to thicken it. And um, then we're going to add the herb spices and lemon juice, including um, nutmeg, oregano, and um, uh, lemon juice. Now I'm supposed to use fresh lemon juice and fresh oregano, especially some extra fresh oregano to garnish it. Um, the recipe calls for a teaspoon I think of oregano double check that I'm gonna post it in the comments but I didn't have any fresh oregano so I'm not gonna let that stop me um, using dried oregano and bottled lemon juice but my favorite brand of bottled lemon juice anyway so now the wine is reduced down a little bit and we're just going to add our cream and it's worth mentioning that um, I also included two tablespoons of olive oil in the fricassee. You go about a third of a cup of cream. And the cream is supposed to thicken it a little bit. And right now it's on medium high heat. It's been on medium high heat continuously. And the idea is you, you start with a little olive oil and butter about a, for this amount of mushrooms, which is a half a pound of mushrooms, about a tablespoon and a half of butter. Unsalted butter, if you're gonna salt to season it. I didn't have unsalted butter, so I used salted butter, but I left the salt out from all the steps from, uh, from seasoning it. So anyway, half of, a tablespoon and a half of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil to begin with, and then the onions and garlic, and then the mushrooms, and then the wine, and then the cream. And then we're going to finish it off with nutmeg, oregano, and lemon juice. Then it's going to go over either pasta, people put this over potatoes, like uh, steamed cubed potatoes or seasoned potatoes, like uh, fried cubed potatoes. Or, uh, in my case, I'm going to put it over the roasted cauliflower because I'm doing keto. Uh, 